Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a long-awaited office tour video to show you. Um, I was actually supposed to film this video back in December when we moved to this house, but I was so busy and each time I wanted to film I really wanted it to be tidy, but then I realised that's actually really unrealistic because it's never going to be tidy enough to like show. So I thought I would just film it anyway with all its mess. Um, it's not actually too bad right now, but there's still clutter everywhere. But this is how I really work in my office, it's how it works and how it's functional for me. So yeah, this is my office tour and I really hope you like the video. So I'll start with my sort of cutting area, desk area. Um, and this is just an Ikea desk, almost everything in here is from Ikea I think. Um, I have my computer here um, and this desk is actually like a little collapsible desk. Um, so I just put it up as and when I need it for certain things. Um, but I like to keep it here because it's sort of a good like place to keep it. I can put my laptop on here while I cut. Um, so this is my computer. Um, I don't know what it is. My boyfriend made it. Um, and then I have this little rose gold like paper holder. This is where I put the stickers that I need to cut. <laughs> Hi Enzo. This is where I put the stickers that I need to cut in that sort of like session. Um, then here I have my silhouettes. And as I said, I haven't tidied um, anything, so this is just sort of how it is normally. I have eight silhouettes out. I use seven because my computer has like a problem at the minute where um, if I plug in too many USBs, the first one stop working. So um, I can't, I can use six at the minute, but I have eight. And then on top of here, we have my laser printer that I just use printing invoices. I um, have some paper here for when I print Royal Mail manifests when I post my mail. This is just like manifest stuff, so when I um, do my business mail, I have to tag it with these things. Um, on here I just have some computer bits that I'm using to upgrade my computer, so hopefully then I can use more silhouettes. And I just have a microphone in here and like some random stuff, I think there's receipts in that box. Um, and then on here have some cutting mats and like a big extension thing the cable management is awful in here i'm sorry um and i have a tripod this is my other tripod i use one i don't use that one and then in this set of alex drawers the top one is like where i put oops stickers oh <laughs> see this is why the cable management is not great um, in there there's like silhouette supplies, there's a toothbrush that I use for cleaning my blades um, and then just some silhouette blades and the rest is just kind of boring like I think this has got, oh, that's grab bags this is cello bags and then the bottom drawer is just random cables so moving on to my sort of like filming photography desk um, this is my setup, so I've got two big I don't know what they're called, um, just lights, I don't know what kind of lights they are. Um, I have my tripod and it's the Vanguard, uh, this is this is the model, Vanguard SBH100 because it's definitely not focusing. I can link it down below there because I got it from Amazon. Um, and I have this marble photo board, this is from photoboards.com or .org. And I use that as the backdrop for when I take my photos. This is, I don't really like this desk. I want to get the Ikea Alex desk, but I don't want to pay like the full price for it. So I keep looking for secondhand ones and I just keep missing them basically. So this is a stack of invoice paper because I print my logo on the top. So I do this in bulk and then when I print invoices, I just take a little stack. Although this doesn't normally live there, so I'm not sure why that's there. These are my washi drawers. And I recently got rid of a lot of washi, so I don't actually have that much left. Well, it still is quite a lot, but like compared to what I had before. Um, and then I have in here sort of like miscellaneous things, some sticky kits that shouldn't be in there. And here I have cards and lots of sticky notes. And this is just for invoices, and there's an invoice on the top that needs to go in there. Um, I have a puppy book that shouldn't be in here that my friend bought me. Um, and this stuff here is like... If I'm cutting for the new releases, I'll put something on here if I need to take a photo of it. So I know that there's like a complete set of the Summer Lover Kit collection here that I need to take a photo of for the release on Friday. These need to be photographed for Friday. 
Um, and then everything here is just sort of like miscellaneous, shouldn't really be here, doesn't have a home kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. Um, here we just have some boxes that need to be recycled. Here we have a bunny rabbit. So this desk, which is equally untidy, but this is actually kind of tidy for me. Um, I sort of know where everything is, it's like organised mess. This is the desk where I actually sit and do my work. So I'll sit here and design, I'll do like labels for orders, um, anything like that really, packaging kits, not orders but like packaging kits into the cello bags. So I have this uh, big shelf I got recently from Argos, it's just a bookshelf. Um, and I have my albums that I actually use on this side and then these albums here and up here are sort of ones that I use for photo purposes. Um, I'm sure that's my debit card is there so I'm just going to shove that in so you can't actually read it. Um, so these are the albums that I use, I also use these ones and this album is like a, a stock, um, a shop album sorry. So I have like um, things that I actually use for the shop in here, little seals and stuff for bags. Uh, I've got some cellos under here, my weighing scales for when I ship orders. This uh, pot here is like the junk pot of the office basically. It has like nail varnish remover in it, some gift cards, um, a candle lighter. So these are my Erin Condrens and my other planners that I don't really use. Um, this was an order that was returned and I need the uh, buyer to buy shipping again so that I can send it back. Um, this was my uh, UKPA Small Business of the Year award. Is it going to focus? No. But yeah, I keep that out because I think it's really cute. Um, my Dymo shipping label printer. And yeah, I think that's everything on that desk. I have my laptop and there's basically so much lip balm just around my office because I'm on Raccutane and I just get dry lips. Um, so these are the, as I said, these are the albums that I don't really use, but keep them. This is also like a junk box, but I have my cables in there. So like, so they're not dangling around my desk. I just have these, this one that comes to the charger and then the actual like hub is in there. I have another extension lead thing. And then I have a small um, pin board, which I haven't actually got anywhere to put yet, but it's a shame because it's super cute. This is from Catnip Illustrations on Etsy. And then I have oh, this pastel uh, set of uh, drawers. And then if I just move my chair on this side of the desk, currently we just have like grab and oops bags because I'm prepping these for a release later today. I have my planner here. Oh, the sun is bright. Let me close the, close the window. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the wrong one. It's not really helped anyway. <laughs> My planner. Oh, right, one minute. It's just like super dark in here now, but um, there's my planner. And then some washi tapes that I pulled out and didn't actually use. Why is it not focusing? You can tell I'm not very good at YouTubing. Focus. Ooh. I don't know. I set it to a, a continuous auto focus, so I think it should work. This is just a huge shelving unit thing. Um, I have my printers here underneath these um, blankets, so I've just covered them up. Um, this is where I keep my shipping labels, so I just have loads in there, because I buy them in bulk, because it's much cheaper. This is a little bunny key charm that I got from Emily from Morello Papery. This is a box of like extra journaling cards, so when I um, fulfill orders, I grab a stack of them and I bring them with me, and then when I need more, I just come and get more. This is my sticker paper, but I've covered it up. Up here, I have, I think this is a bag of stuff that I bought for my Etsyversary, or was like gifted, um, donated by shops for the goodie bags. This is a mount for my microphone, but because I don't really do voiceover, I mean, um, I, well, this camera actually is good enough. I can use this microphone instead of having to use an external one. So I don't really need that anymore. And here is just like a pile of things. These are envelopes, but they're so light. Um, it doesn't matter that they're like so high up. Um, and then here we have some bunny stuff because the bunnies do live in my office. They have this little cage area in the evening, like when they go to sleep. And then when I'm in here, they just sort of roam free. So that was Enzo. 
and then um, here's a box of envelopes and these are like the envelopes I use for the albums so they have a piece of grey board in them which keeps them sturdy and they're also in a bubble mailer so I get either Tom or I will prep the albums before like a release so we put loads of grey board in the albums and just stack them up somewhere so that I can use them and not have to like do it each time here we have loads of albums, um, these are the small albums that fit quarter sheets and underneath here in this one have a ton of Oops albums so I need to actually like assemble these so that I can sell them or do something with them. Here we have an Ikea like paper sorter and I just have loads of cello bags in here of like different sizes. These are ones I don't really use that often but I still need to have on hand um, so that's where they are. Here I have some large albums and some more small ones and then we have some extra small ones that didn't really fit in either box here. The large albums are kind of like low stock at the minute so that's why there's not that many. Um, and then here I just have some extra photo boards like you know the marble one that I showed you where I take my photos. These are just smaller ones of different patterns so I have like a wood one. This one is like a concrete kind of pattern. And then on here these are my like financial things, I think this is last year's, um, so I don't really ever need to access that but I just keep it there because it hides a big box of bunny things, so I just keep that there. This is more bunny things, I recently bought them like a set of toys and I've just been giving them a few at a time so they don't get bored. And there's just some extra envelopes up there. Here are more Royal Mail shipping labels. Um, Fed ones are for like UK mail and the ones I showed you before are for international mail. And then I have a big roll of sticker seals. Oh, that one's actually misprinted. I've never seen that before. I guess it's because it's like the, the end of the roll. That's crazy. Um, but I get these are manufactured so that's weird. But yeah, it's on this huge roll and I have another one of these um, in a drawer. So down here in this IKEA thing, this is underneath my uh, packing desk. In this big Ikea thing I have grey board in the bottom drawers and then the top one is normally where oops bags, um, oops kits, oops bags get stored but because I've actually just like made loads of oops bags there's nothing in here. So these are just like purple mail bags that I put, for international orders I put the big envelopes in these because some of them actually have like weird dots so I don't know if like water's gonna get in, I don't think it would but it just seems weird to me they would even make envelopes with the holes in. So I just put the international ones in there because it's kind of a bit longer to survive in the post. So, my packing station. I have this big, it's like a display, and I do use it for when I do events. But while I'm not doing events, it's really handy to have on my desk. Um, I might just open the windows again because we're not in the sunny part of the room. Sunny Tula. The sun. It makes me laugh when they put themselves away because they could literally like be everywhere but they don't want to. So um yeah, this is my envelopes. And I have um some raffle tickets up there because sometimes I do promotions where I need raffle tickets. Um here we just have this this like section here is kind of like miscellaneous things I don't need that often. So we have some freebies from when I was doing some sampler swaps. Behind there, there's some notepads. These are good to head of grab bags. These are um, £50 plus freebies. For some reason, I have mine and Tom's passports, but I, I like know where they are and they've been there for such a long time. If I moved them, I would lose them. And then I just have a stack of Tilly's PR samplers because I need to send them to her because we changed samplers and I've just got loads of extras of the old ones. So, this little box here has all my quarter sheets, um, so they're sort of labelled with the SKU and then I also have my PR team samplers in the front, so when I need to pull an item I know that like say Q073 is this one, so I just take it out and then yeah, that's how it works. But also when I do events, if you turn it round, I need to like update a few of them but it has the name of the sheet on it so that the customer can view it easily but it doesn't actually mean I have to like completely take my stock apart to go to an event. Um, so when the customer views it, it's the, the sheet is facing them but when I pull it for the order I know that the sheet is facing away from me so I have to just turn it around. 
but I think that works a lot better than like before I used to completely take my stock apart for events and it would make me not want to do them so this is just much easier and then behind that in these bigger tubs we have kit collections um, so I have the like one at the back is the full kit and then the glitter headers whoops, are in front of the full kit and then the deluxe sheet is separated by a piece of card and then the regular kit the regular mini kit is at the front so that's how I organise my kits, um, I think it works the most, like, makes the most sense. Um, and then when I have a new collection, normally there's a room in one of the boxes, so I just sort of shove them out of the way. <laughs> and I, I made these dividers myself. I bought um, tuck tabs and stuck them onto white card and just trimmed them and laminated them. And then I have nail varnish remover here because you can clean off the Sharpie with nail varnish remover and just put a new kit name on it and reuse them. So down at the front, this is like um, stuff that I pack orders with. So you've got your reward stickers, the business card and reward card. Why is it struggling to focus? I really don't understand. Um, some extra business cards and this was like a little promotion I did recently where you could get a die cut. Oops. So I just have some extras of those, so I'll just put those in like, if I get any big orders or something as an extra thank you. These are freebies for the orders, uh, and then there's the journaling card that I spoke about um, when I showed you the big box. And then <laughs> this little like set of instructions on this post-it note was from when Tom was like new to packing orders. I wrote down like things he might have to check that he's most likely to like, make a problem with. Um, so yeah, but he doesn't need that anymore, so I should get rid of that. These are just signed for labels that I can stick on when I get signed for orders in the UK. I don't think they actually mean anything, but it's sort of just, it's like a reminder to the postman that they might have to sign for something. Um, on here I have big boxes that when I pack my orders, I put the um, envelopes into them. I use the grey box for UK and the pink one for international, because when I separate my mail, I have to separate it um, by international UK and also by the size of the package, so if it's a letter, a large letter, or a, a parcel. So I just have different boxes, because otherwise I'd get very muddled. Uh, this is just a present that I didn't wrap very well, but I need to give uh, to the recipient. So I've just got it there so I don't forget. Um, and this is, try and keep monthly kits and notes kits at the start of this box. And then behind that I just have all my multicolour half sheets. And they're organised the same way as the quarter sheets. And then finally, to the side of this desk, I have a Rascog cart, and honestly, I couldn't tell you what's in this. It's it's a mess, and I need to tidy it because um, I reckon I would actually have a lot of extra space. <laughs> Hello. Um, but yeah, I need to I need to deal with that, but I just haven't. So you can see my mess. And then I also just have these mail bags. These are what I uh, have to post my mail in. And Enzo really likes to sniff them and chew them. But yeah, I think that is about everything in my office. Um, of note, anyway. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them down below and I'll do my, best, do my best to answer anything. And yeah, um, I'm sorry this video is so overdue. I said I was going to do it when we moved in December. And basically, <laughs> I've only just got around to it. It's because I wanted it to be perfect and super tidy and it just wasn't. So... Oh well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!